everybody so today I have a super exciting video today I'm gonna do a full all-day first impressions and wear test of the new and super strange urban decay velvetizer powder now I first saw Nakia joy talk about this and then I saw Tati glam life guru put up a video of this and both of their videos were just like they were both mind blown and Nikia Joy and I have really really similar um, like favorite foundations and stuff and like favorite like tips for oily skin so I really really trusted her opinion and it just it's a powder that you can mix into your foundation to make it more full coverage and more oil resistant. If that doesn't sound like a dream come true, I don't know what does. So on the back of the box, this little thing I think was like $39. I'll have the price for sure down below, but it's kind of expensive. But I mean, it's it's Urban Decay, so it's, you know, it's expected. But it says, velvetize your foundation with this universal mix in medium. Mix a dime size amount into naked skin liquid makeup or naked skin one and done, which if you need more full coverage and more oil resistant with one and done, that's insane. Um... <laughs> to create an extra velvety feel with our beautiful matte finish and added coverage. Our high-tech formula provides a smooth, soft focus effect with a perfected complexion. So today, I'm not going to use Naked Skin because, as you all know, that is one of my favorite foundations, but I haven't worn it in a really, really long time. So I'm going to be using the foundation that I've been wearing every single day for a week straight, so that way I know exactly how it wears on my skin because I've been wearing it for the past week. I just want it to be fresh in my mind so that I can pair, like, I can compare how it wore yesterday to how it wears today, you know? And that foundation is Smashbox Studio Skin, which Nakia Joy also tried this foundation with it. I will be trying it mixed in to Urban Decay Naked Skin, and I'll update y'all probably in a favorites video or something. But for the purposes of this video, I want to use the foundation that has been fresh in my mind and know exactly how it wears. This one's a new favorite, but this one's my favorite. I've been wearing it nonstop. So today I work a full eight hour shift. I probably won't be home until like 10 o'clock at night and it's currently 10 17. So we're probably going to get a good like full 12 hour wear out of this. I am going to do my absolute normal routine. So I am going to set my face with Deeslick Makeup Setting Spray. I am going to like do all of that. I also am going to set my face with this so my face should be like totally budge for budge proof. I set my face literally every single day with set with that setting spray so I want to compare how my skin normally acts you know and then if it's like crazy crazy like oil resistant then maybe I'll try it with that, without the setting spray later. So anyways I gotta get ready for work so let's bust into this guy so this is what the jar looks like. It's like literally a velvet finish, which I think looks kind of cheap, to be honest. Like, I really, really, I get that it's like the velvetizer, but th there's something about this bottle that just doesn't look expensive, you know? I don't know, and this is gonna get super dirty, but whatever. So then you open it and there's little, there's like three little sifter holes, and this is seriously the like softest feeling powder I have ever felt like it it feels like I don't know like cornstarch or something it just feels so silky soft it's insane so I guess we'll just get to putting this on um I am going to conceal my under eyes real quick or not conceal but correct my under eyes real quick with my pixie under eye concentrate just pop a little bit of that all right then we'll just go in and start mixing. So I'm in the shade 1.0 for the Smashbox foundation. I'm just gonna do, I'm gonna do two and a half pumps. I usually use about, about that much. And then I'm just gonna take my tweezers, which is a trick I saw Nikia Joy do, and I'm just gonna scoop up, it says a dime sized amount. That's kind of, that's kind of a lot, right? So I'm gonna take that, that scoop and just Plop it in there, and then I'm just gonna mix it up with my finger. Oh my gosh, it's so weird. Oh, it's kind of hard to mix. It's like, I don't, I don't know if you guys can tell. It's like the powder is like, like I don't know, it bursting everywhere and wanting to not stay in the foundation. It made the foundation so much thicker though. So then I'm just gonna pop this on my skin with my Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. I can already tell it's fuller coverage. I think I'm gonna need to mix more though. This foundation is like a medium buildable coverage. 
It's really, really pretty, really easy to make. Not like totally full coverage, but you can make it a lot fuller coverage and it's already so much more matte. Like this is super matte. Usually when I wear this foundation or for the past week that I've been wearing this foundation, <clears throat> it's more of a kind of natural satin finish on the skin. So I've just done my nose and over. It cr it's crazy. It already looks like I powdered my skin. That's kind of weird. Okay, I'm going to mix more. So I guess that is kind of a downfall of this is that you have to use quite a bit it seems. So I just did the exact same thing with that tweezer trick and I'm just going to kind of mix it again. I can't believe how matte this looks. It looks like Urban Decay one and done now on my skin. Benny's meowing outside my door. Sorry Benny. He comes in here and he walks all over my setup, which I mean is cute until he starts like eating your makeup brushes. So that is so much fuller coverage. Like this is, this is like pretty full coverage for me. I will say on my nose it already looks like I powdered. It's like not tacky, but I don't know, still feels kind of like wet foundation. Weird. This is really weird. I don't know how I feel about it though. It definitely blurs your pores, which is really nice, but I don't really want to build it up more, so I'm just going to call that good. So this is my skin afterwards. I'm not like, I mean, I'm not like blown away, but it did make that foundation fuller coverage. I'm really looking for wear test. Y'all know I have oily skin, so anything to help combat that oil and make foundations last longer on me and not get oily as quickly then that's that's really what I am looking for but this is just so weird it looks like there's powder on my face which might not be a good thing if you have like dry skin I could see this kind of like sticking to I could see it sticking to dry skin since it does like look it looks a little powdery just on my nose I feel like once I set once I like apply highlight and everything and set my face with setting spray it'll probably go away so I'm gonna go fill in, I'm gonna go do the rest of my makeup off camera just because I have to hurry because I have to get to work. Um, and then I will come back after my makeup is done and tell y'all how everything went on and how it looks then. Okay, be right back. All right, everybody, the rest of my makeup is on. So everything went on okay. Now I will say that I did have some problems with like kind of splotchiness like on my cheeks. I feel like this is one of those products since that like since it makes the foundation thicker you really have to take your time and like blend it in otherwise it could make your products on top of it patchy which I think is what happened because I didn't spend a lot of time blending I just kind of put it on so that was maybe it but like on my forehead and like everything else everything looks really really flawless like me looking in my mirror I uh, it looks totally airbrushed like the foundation looks amazing really full coverage like this is like full full coverage and usually like I said this foundation is more of a medium coverage is more of like a natural everyday glam not like natural but I mean you know what I mean it's a solid medium coverage natural looking foundation but this does not look natural it looks airbrushed beat you know what I mean I will say I didn't set my face as much as I normally do just because this already feels like it's gonna I don't know feels kind of <clears throat> stiff on my face like it feels a little bit more like an, you know, an oil controlling full coverage foundation, if you know what I mean. Um, but when I did set my face, it did take away that powderiness. I just kind of did like three squirts of my Urban Decay setting spray, not like ch -ch 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 -ch, like I normally do. So it definitely took away some of the powderiness, especially around my nose. But overall, I really, really love how this looks. It looks so full coverage and so glam, but it doesn't look too heavy. It doesn't feel too heavy. Like I said, it does feel a little stiff on the skin, but that doesn't really bug me at all. So just letting you all know. I did set my face with this too. So um, just so you all know, I set my face with it and it looks so good. This really does make you look poreless and airbrushed. So I am going to be wearing this for the next like 11 hours. I don't know if I'll be able to do a midday check-in. If I do, it'll probably be just like a crappy one on my phone because I won't be home until 
10 o'clock tonight. So I'll try to do a midday check-in, just like at least a quick one, and then I will check back with you all at the very, very end of the day, and we will see how well this foundation holds up. And I purposely didn't put on a lot of highlight. I just put on a little on my cheeks and on my nose just to take away some of the matteness, but my skin isn't that glowy from highlight, and I did that on purpose because I wanted to see how glowy it gets. You know what I mean? Okay. So that is it. I will see you guys in my next check-in. Bye. Hello, everybody. So I'm on my lunch right now. That's why it's probably loud in the background. I'm currently at the mall on my lunch. Anyways, it's like four o'clock and I decided to do a check-in just on my phone. So I'm sorry for the crappy quality, but a check-in's a check-in. So it feels amazing and it's not oily like at all. Like I am still hardly shiny like I'm just shiny a little bit where I applied highlight but it looks amazing and like in my work bathroom lighting it looks even better like I don't know it just looks really really good still it doesn't feel heavy I'm not like sticky yet it doesn't like feel pasty like some foundations do after I start to get oily so yeah I'm just checking it in my little elf mirror but it's not creasing and it's not like cakey my bronzer and everything is still on so so far so good i'm super impressed so that's the check-in again it's four o'clock i work until 9 30 and then i'll be home so i'll probably do the check-in around like 10 or 10 30 depending so still another like six hours of wear in this makeup so much fun Anyways, okay, I'm gonna go eat now and I will check back with you guys in my next check-in. Okay, bye. Hello, everybody. So it is currently 10 o'clock at night. This makeup has been on for just under 12 hours. I literally just walked in the door from work. I'm absolutely exhausted and I cannot wait to take this makeup off. So let's get in and talk about my face right now. So as far as my face feels, usually, now if you have oily skin, I think you'll know what I'm talking about. When you wear your foundation for like over eight hours and it starts to kind of feel like a paste on your skin from your oils coming out, usually by this, by like this time, my foundation being on for 12 hours, my entire face feels like a mask of paste, but only right around my mouth area feels like that, which is where I get the most oily. So I'm totally not mad about it. The rest of my face feels really nice. I will say that right now my foundation still looks awesome from afar. When you go a little bit up close, when you look up close it's not nearly as smooth as it was at the beginning. I mean at the beginning of the day my foundation literally looked airbrushed, um, like no pores, no texture. Um, it is a lot more textured right now but as far as oil control this is insane. Like my face hardly looks different shine wise compared to at the beginning of the day like there's zero shine on my forehead there's just like a little bit of shine on my cheeks usually like all the way up the side of my nose down both sides of my nose and my nose itself are crazy shiny by the end of the day my chin isn't shiny like literally the only place where I like have shine are where my is where my highlight was at the beginning of the day and it's just a little bit more intense than it was at the beginning of the day so as far as oil control goes this stuff is insane like absolutely insane it didn't settle like I said in the um, checkup while I was on my lunch break, it still hasn't settled into lines. My foundation or my um, bronzer and contour are all still on. Like, this is really, really crazy. I'm really actually hyped on it because my foundation is just stuck in place so, so well. And like I said, I did set my face with this powder as well. So overall, I think this is insane. Like this is really, really amazing. This is not something I would probably do for every day, but on days where I want to look beat for like <clears throat> eight to 12 hours, this this would be amazing. I really want to try this going out and see how like sweat proof it is. I think that should be my next one is that I try it out, go out and dance in it, which I'm going out tomorrow. So maybe I will um, leave in the description box how it lasted when I went out on the town and danced a little bit. If that happens, 
I will let you guys know down below but overall I think this is amazing and if you have oily skin I definitely think it's worth investing because this is such a versatile product you can use it with any foundation you can use it I mean it said to use it with naked skin you don't have to use it with the foundation that it says to use it with really by the end of the day with just the Smashbox Studio skin my foundation would be oily pretty much everywhere and be broken up around my nose like this foundation does last a really long time by itself but it would never be this flawless by itself so if you have oily skin I definitely think this is worth it I mean $40 is a bit much but for those occasions where you need your skin to not be oily and you're you need your face to last a really long time I totally think it's worth it so that's those are pretty much my thoughts I haven't done a first impression like this in so long so I really am super impressed by this I still can't wait to take it off because I'm exhausted I just want to go and drink a beer on the couch and watch The Office or something so that's exactly what I'm gonna do I'm gonna wrap this first impressions up up. Overall, I would recommend this product just from a first impression. Now, again, this is just a first impression, so I haven't tried it with a bunch of different foundations or anything like that, but I am planning on trying this through the rest of the month with a bunch of different foundations and seeing how the different foundations wear and stuff like that and uh, just testing it out even more. So I will update you guys in probably my next favorites video because I have a feeling this is going to be in my next favorites video. <laughs> um, so I'll update you guys whether it I put it in my favorites or not. I will update you and let y'all know what I think about this now when I get a chance to try it with more items. But I mean... The proof is in the pudding, and my makeup still looks real good. So, I hope you all enjoyed this first impressions. If you want me to do more first impressions like this, let me know. I need to get a vlogging camera so I don't have to do it on my phone again. But anyways, let me know. <clears throat> if you have tried this product, let me know what you think of it. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you did enjoy this video. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye!